Hey everybody, I hope all y'all is well. Um, I kind of wanted to talk to y'all about something real fast. There were some downloads that I had been getting and why the energy of the Black Madonna had been coming up in my spirit for like some time now. And um, I just kind of wanted to share some downloads with y'all. I know I haven't been on here that long, but I'm going to make it short and sweet. I kept seeing these images of the Black Madonna in my head. And I know that history is teaching us that, you know, she's holding her child and, um, you know, she is like a really huge sta staple of like the European uh, religious faith. Because we don't really see the Black Madonna in the Catholic faith or the Roman Catholic faith. We see Virgin Mary. But it all starts with the Black Madonna um, in Haitian voodoo. This would be, uh, I believe, it's Ezeli Frida or Ezeli Dantor. I think it's Dantor um, because it's the water deity. It's uh, the equivalency of Yemoja Yemeya energy because she is the oldest. She's the uh, primordial god goddess. Okay, all other life started with her in her womb. I say all that to say this: uh, Christ. God did not have to give his only begotten son. His son talked him into allowing him to come down here to be a sacrifice. Okay. How I know that is because in the New Testament, when he did one of the utterings on, uh, on Calvary, when he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Um, the Bible clearly states that uh, God had to turn his head in order to allow the sacrifice to go through and to me it was red rum and not a actual sacrifice but whatever um well it was it was red rum it was red rum but in the age of pisces the reason why the the christ figure is so important is because he was humanity's life insurance policy if things got too bold or too too heavy in the end times okay so because man in the age of pisces is responsible for all the wars and the famine and did not bring balance and did not bring harmony a male child had to or took up took up the mantle of standing in the gap for humanity and now that we're in the age of aquarius the feminine energy is, it will, is what brings the balance and the harmony and cleans up what man could not clean up. The black Madonna was not holding a son. She's holding a daughter. The daughter she's holding is the child who is here. That is the Christ. Okay. The word Christ is a title. It's like if I say Mr. Mrs. Um, you know, salutations type of thing. Well, it's also another title denoting the profession of the person for example if i say john doe phd john doe md uh john doe um cpa that that's showing you that they are a medical professional uh esquire is law cpa i believe is an accountant bookkeeper that kind of thing when you say jesus christ you are saying Jesus the Messiah. Christ is a, a title. It denoted his profession. Okay, profession is Christ. So the divine, there's many divine feminines, there's many divine masculines. But there is, there was the divine masculine and then there is the divine feminine. Divine feminine is the Christ. Okay, of this time, of this era. She is the Christ. Again, there are many troops in this. Or, 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 you know, there's there's many troops, many soldiers that belong to this troop. But there is one head, and there's a lot of sub ones. Okay, you got you, you know, you got a chief, and then you got Indians. But all come together 
to carry out what is required of them in the lifetime that they have incarnated in. So I sell that to say this to you, the divine, the divine feminine who's been sent by her divine mother is already here. She's already here. She's already been walking amongst you. And these people know who she is and they have been um, tearing her life. They had been messing with her and tearing her life apart so that she would not evolve and be able to see who she was. Now that she is awakened, these people are in trouble. So everything that I have said to you, if you go back and look at my videos, everything that I have said to y'all is coming to pass or has came to pass after I said it, okay? And you heard it first with me. So what I'm telling y'all now is get ready to see a lot of things crumbling and falling. There's going to be a lot of old allies between countries and people and places and things that are going to fall apart. There's going to be new allies that's going to be creating. And some of these people are going to be afraid because there's a lot of exposure, okay? Get ready for the next six months of 2023 to bring a lot of shocking and disturbing information and revelations that cannot be challenged, in other words, it's going to be 100% facts. So get ready for this because it's going to be a bumpy ride for them. But I hope y'all have been doing your healing work and aligning yourself on the right side of everything. Because the full moon in Capricorn has already been established that it's going to pay out karmic debt. Karma is neither good nor bad. It's both. If you have been, whatever you've been putting out for the last 30 some odd years, if you are that old, if you're younger, just equate it to your age. If you're older, it's a reset return. But whatever you have been doing for the last some odd 30 years is getting ready to come back to you and it's going to flood you. You're going to be overwhelmed. If you've been putting out good, nothing but miracles are going to overwhelm you. If you've been putting out evil, and you thought karma wasn't real, whatever you've been doing is about to flood you. So get ready. This is it. Shalom to everyone. And I'll talk to you when I can.